Hey, uh, I'm sorry if you have heard this already, but uh, if you haven't heard, my new short film is going to be premiering on September 8th, 4 p.m. Hong Kong time, 8 a.m. Greenwich time, and uh, 1 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. So check that out. So, uh, hey, the uh, Hong Kong Student Association of my college might be the least populated group of people in any educational institution whatsoever. What's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite albums. And today, I'm going to do an album review on the latest Turnstile album, Glow On. Turnstile is a punk band from Maryland and their latest album is Glow On. And as you can see from the pink album cover, this isn't your average super harsh, hardcore, organic, punk rock album. This thing is uh, playful, it is sweet, sometimes dreamy, a lot of fun, and um, I think, um, needless to say, this album is a very good album and uh, definitely one of the best of the year, in my opinion. So, uh, catchy, hooky, sweet, we have the album opener Mystery with the very colorful synths, the roaring guitars, the loud, shouty vocals. Not only is it really solid meat and potatoes, consistent, hardcore rock, but also just the very playful energy. I really like that. Blackout is the second track of the album. The electronic sequence, the beats, actually sound fantastic. It doesn't take away from the experience of the track at all. I just really like how this band finds a balance between making really organic, harsh, raw sounds, but then also putting some sequenced stuff in it. Anyways, I love the catchy, blissful chorus of this track, and I think this is genuinely one of the best tracks on the album. The track Don't Play has a Latin flavored groove that is sort of mixed with these very hard hitting loud drums. And uh, I also really like the sweet piano lick in the middle of the song, the in the chorus. It's it's like it sounds like it came out of an anime. And then we have Underwater Boy, which is more beach flavored. We have nice wavy guitars, another really upbeat rock jam. Holiday is a noisy banger. It has a totally awesome hook and what I love about this track is the Chonky drums. I don't know how to describe them, but they're like chonk 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 They're kind of chonky. So uh, chonky drums uh, Humanoid slash shake it up is a one minute interlude with crazy warping synths and manipulation again a lot of electronic manipulation in the instrumentals from time to time which is really nice um, and doesn't take away from the organic flavor at all. Endless is the next track of the album. It is very noisy and um, there's a lot of reverb on the vocals for some reason. It is drenched in reverb and maybe that's one of the few moments in the album where there's just too much manipulation. Also I guess the guitar riffs are just not as outstanding or as poppy as is the rest of the album. But up next, we have Fly Again with the slow distorted guitars and reverby keyboards. Uh, another really good song, what can I say? Alien Love Call is a slower and dreamier track and uh, both surprisingly and unsurprisingly, the track features Blood Orange. What? Def Hines? Shout out to Def Hines. But uh, yeah, even though I don't think this is a great track, I still think Def Hines fit into this song way better than I'd expected. Because you know, he usually sings alternative R&B, you know, something slower, uh, something more quiet and, um, and, 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 and just, you know, contained. But, uh, but uh, he actually sounds great in this track. Next up, we have Wild World with its quick sweet sequenced beats and hardcore riffs and dance off where we have the return of the chonky beats and uh, also the tongue-in-cheek performances it is incredibly playful such a banger new heart design is another highlight of the album for me with the 80s flavored poppy verses and the very hardcore choruses of the track and then the turnstile love connection is one minute and 43 second long and it is a non-stop rager Finally, we have No Surprise, the synth-heavy interlude which leads up to Lonely Desires, which is just an okay ending. Again, there are too much reverb in the vocals, it's 
not really all that fitting for the vibe that this album is trying to go for or or rather it's just too much reverb it kind of ruined the the instrumental layering but uh yeah def hines is in this track again and he and i guess he's less present in this track than than the than the track he was on before this one but uh yeah still overall solid album i'm liking it i'm loving it i think it is a really awesome album a lot of nice grooves cool production and um solid album what can i say favorite track here is mystery my uh no blackout is my favorite track my least favorite is endless i'm giving turnstile glow on a decent eight out of ten so, if you're listening to the latest Turnstile album from Winter Channel, which is rated label, like it, and subscribe, you want more. Thanks for watching.